Welcome to the Everton News Daily. Everton today have reportedly completed a deal for Aston Villa midfielder Tim Oreg Boonham and he's here set to have a medical with the club. Reports said today, who knows? Uh, reports of fee of anywhere between 9 and 10 million has been agreed with the villains. Listen, this looks like a player who has got all the right attributes. Definitely the kind of player Everton should be targeting. I don't think there's been enough of this. He's played in the Premier League with Aston Villa. He's played in the Carabao Cup with them. He had 32 appearances in the Championship with Queen's Park Rangers. He's got good physical attributes, gets around the pitch really well. Good passing range. Needs time to develop. And I think he'll grow and grow. And again, you know, Everton... Everton can get him in in time for the start of pre-season training. That is, that's really good business, and obviously it also helps with Everton's PSR as well. Um, more on that in a second. So if if it is as far down the track as is being reported, it'll be a good deal for Everton. Further to that story, Everton winger Lewis Dobbin has been linked with a move to Aston Villa. Uh, apparently, positive talks have taken place between the two clubs. Everton believe that with a successful deal this month, uh, they will be compliant with the league's PSR and would not have to sell Jarrah Brantwaite for less than their target price. If that's the case, uh, then fair enough. Lewis Dobbin has been... A bit par player at Everton, let's be perfectly honest. I think last season he would have gone out on loan again had Everton had a bit more freedom to bring in more players. As it was, he he remained on Merseyside. He was used sparingly, but he did score his first Premier League goal. That was against Chelsea in a 2-0 win at Goodison Park. Aston Villa looking for some pace off the bench maybe and want to develop a young player. Again, I've just said it. The way PSR is Aston Villa right up against it as well and, and this solution between the two clubs could help each other out, both getting a promising youngster from each other. So we'll see whether that develops uh, again. The reports from that is that that could really enhance Evans' PSR, which, uh, PSR in the year, which ends on the 30th of June. So watch this space, I guess. Uh, Everton as well have reportedly offered mid offered midfielder Wilfred and Diddy a contract. Uh, the Nigerian is a free agent when his Leicester City contract expires on June thirtieth. Leicester have offered him a new deal. He hasn't signed that yet. Leon and Marseille have also apparently offered him a contract, and it up is up to Diddy to decide who his next club will be. And finally, according to a report today in the Mirror, Leeds are prepared to allow Jack Harrison to rejoin Everton on loan this summer if Everton are prepared to agree to make the deal permanent next summer. I don't know how much of this is true. Uh, what is true is that Harrison does look to be heading back to Goodison Park for another season on loan. That's in his contract. Uh, I understand Leeds' perspective trying to get an agreement in place for next summer for permanent deal. Uh, if Harrison isn't part of their you know, plans going forward, then you know having an arrangement with Everton to sign a pen in the next summer makes sense. From an Everton perspective, they could be in a totally different place next summer and might not want to make that um, permanent right now. I haven't seen this in too many other places, so I don't know, maybe Leeds are just trying, trying their luck or putting it out there that that's ideally what they want. But we'll wait and see. The minute we get more uh, details around this deal, we will know, won't we? But right now, it does look as though Jack Harrison is heading back to Everton on loan for the coming season. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, thanks for watching. See you later.